Hi, my name is Roger Coles, and today you're gonna learn how to use sound effects in Canva. Let's get into it. First, let me show you what we're going to create today. Now you hear those sound effects, right? This is a fun animated post with sound effects that you can use on Instagram. And I'm gonna show you how I created this just using Canva, the sounds in Canva, the animations in Canva. And here's the resource page. So these are all of the different elements that we're gonna use in today's design. We've got our frames, we've got our photos, text block, shadows, everything that we need. So I'm gonna to go to file and create new design. And we wanna choose animated social media. This is gonna allow us to have the timeline editor that you see at the bottom of my screen. And if you choose just a regular social media post, you're not going to see this. So any video document within Canva should give you this timeline editor. Here we have a brushstroke frame photo holder. And if you wanted to use this one, then you go to the elements tab, scroll down until you see frames, click on see all, and then search for brush stroke. So we've already got the frame here. Now we're gonna pull the photo into the photo holder and you can see that it works kind of the same way. If you were to mask a photo in Photoshop, it's the same principle. So let's resize that, make it nice and large, since that'll kind of be the hero here. And then I'll double click on it to bring down the image because we want her centered. And this is gonna be a testimonial post. So I love that she's already like, they're saying such kind things about me. All right, so now we've got our photo in place. So we've got our photos. We're gonna imagine that these are people who have worked with Harper Russo, our made up character for today, and that they absolutely love the service that she provided. So this first photo, we'll just drag it into the photo holder and move it around, reposition. And we'll do the same thing for this one here and reposition. So we'll resize that. And then I want that on top of the photo. So it kind of looks like she's just peeking out from behind the testimonial that's gonna pop up. And I'm gonna take our text block and move that in here. And then we'll take Aaron and bring him up here. And right now Aaron's hiding from us behind this rounded rectangle. So to fix that, you come up to position and move him forward until he's on top of the rectangle. So we can kind of reposition things around here, go slightly closer to the edge, bring him over here. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's centered and now we're gonna work on the shadow. This shadow is something that you can find in Canva's library. You would simply go to elements and search for dark tablet blur shadow. And it's right here. So this is a pro element, but if you don't have pro, no worries. You can use the affiliate link in the description and try it out for free for 30 days. So bring that in and we're gonna resize this here to the width of the rectangle and bring it down because we don't really need the top. We only care about the bottom to give some depth to our rectangle. And then I'm gonna pull down the transparency just a tad. There we go. One thing you may want to remember is that if you're going to animate this, then group the shape and the shadow. If they don't come in together, it can look a little bit weird. So we're gonna group them. We're happy with that. And now we're just going to copy and paste that or I'm gonna duplicate it by holding down Alt and clicking and dragging, all right? So now we can move this here. We can delete Erin and of course change her name, Olivia Wilson. And now let's animate it. So we're gonna take the top one and animate it to pop. And if you don't have Pro, again, you could find something else. I like pop because the sound effect that we're gonna use is a mouth finger pop. So this animation is going to work really well with that sound. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom one, add in pop, there we go. Now let's hit play so we can see like that. All right, so now the next step is to bring in our audio. You can find lots of really great sound effects in the audio channel by simply searching for sound effects. From here, you can see that we've got things like paper and writing, crunchy snow, waves but we've also got things like voices so if you wanted to have a scream hmm, only mildly terrifying they're really starting to fill out this library and there are going to be a lot of great options for you to use sound effects in your videos we're going to go to the audio tab and search for mouth pop finger and you can see it's already in my recently used so we'll just click on mouth pop finger and drag it in here. And it's really hard to see. 
So to fix that down here at the bottom, you can zoom in on either the page or the thumbnails and we want to switch it so that we can zoom in on the thumbnails. And now we can resize here, bring it all the way up to 500%. And so what I'm going to do is just time this with where that first one kind of pops in like that. So maybe somewhere around there, like that. And then going to do the same thing for the second one. So somewhere around here where you start to see that rectangle bounce, bring that in here. And that's looking pretty good. When you're done with your design, go to download, make sure it's an MP4 video and you can download it right to your computer. Another really fun thing that you can do is add in animated subscribe buttons with sound effects. Here's an example of something that I put together. That's perfect for a YouTube channel, right? So you're saying like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And this was all made in Canva, going from a static sticker to an animated sticker using sound effects. If you like the templates that you saw in today's video, all of them are available at canva.com slash mysocialdesigner. I hope that you learned something today. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Now it's time for you to go create something amazing. I'll see you next time.